it's it's a it's a staple of the franchise i i don't think i need to really explain i What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Nico Williams, and we're back with another episode of Keeping 99 Reviews, hosted by your boy today, Nico Williams. I'm just flying by myself because, you know, I just be going to the movies. That's what I do. I review movies so you can decide if you want to see them. Please make sure that you like and subscribe if you would like to see more reviews. Um, sometimes my friends get involved. Sometimes they don't. I don't know. I just, hey, I'm going to be here. Do you hear me? Also, you can see power reviews. You can see um, what else is out? Um, Ahsoka and Superman and my I'm friends with Superman with all type of stuff. So what else is there? Something else that we do? Oh, Loki two, Loki season two. Yeah, we do that too. So uh Marvel reviews, everything. Also, most importantly, let's not forget about me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Unico Williams, on YouTube because you this is just something you should do. And I'm almost at my goal. So uh make sure that y'all do that. I really appreciate it. But today we are here to review the exorcist believer i'm sure you could tell from the beginning yeah because yeah so at any rate um the exorcist believer takes us to uh starts off uh there's this guy his name is tanner and he's with his he's with the mother of his child his wife and they're in like jamaica or or no they're in they're in haiti they're in haiti and, um, you know, he, he's like doing photographer stuff because he's a photographer. So he's taking pictures of stuff. And she's like about to blow pregnant type thing. She's walking around and doing stuff. And this lady decides to bless her baby. And so they do st stuff. And he's not so much a believer, but he knows it front to back. Like most black kids know, we just know the Bible. But, you know, sometimes we don't necessarily jump all the way into it. But we know the Bible. Um, Satan knows it, too. And. And so they're having a great time. And then there's this earthquake. And then he has to make a decision between the baby and the wife. And 13 years later, it's him and Angela living in a house. And so, of course, Shorty has issues with her mother, uh, missing her mother. She never got to meet her, that whole thing. So, of course, she's got that on her mind. So she has this friend named Kathy. Catherine, Catherine, something, yeah, Catherine. She has this friend named Catherine. She's of the light skin persuasion, and uh, they come up with this great idea to go into the forest and start doing pagan rituals in order to try and talk to her mom again. That takes us to the next scene where they have been missing for a very long time, and they're trying to find the kids, and they can't find them. He finds her shoe in this little tunnel thing that they have going on. And they show up at this barnyard three days later, and then they're at the hospital. They think that, you know, they're saying the kids, the girls are saying that they don't and they have no concept of time. They thought they were gone for like a couple of hours, but they were gone for three days. So that happened. Check out my manicure. Isn't it great? I love it. And so they start doing weird stuff and scratching themselves and hurting themselves and they start getting chapped lips because that's what happens when you possess you get chapped lips and and they're in the hospital and then they let them go home and they start doing weird stuff at home like attacking their parents um so then they eventually get into the they eventually get into the part where they're trying to they they're like yes this is a possession this is a possession so the nurse no nosy nurse next door she tries to like go get like the like get her pastor or no her the father a father so i guess that that's not a pope but it's priest yeah yeah a priest and turns out that she was like a nun herself but like she broke her vows and but she still knows exorcist stuff but and and then Tanner, the dad of one of the kids uh, of Angela, um, he goes to find the lady from the original Exorcist in 1973. She's very old, but Reagan, her daughter, apparently she's very upset with her mom because she wrote a book about this. The mother who loved her daughter way too much or something like that. And 
that's her thing. And they're, they, they start trying to figure out this whole exorcism thing. There's a Christian there and then they get some like voodoo lady and, and they all try and get this seance. The kids start acting crazy. They're tied up to a chair and they have to choose. They have to choose which one. And they were like, I won't choose the mom of Catherine would not choose. And Angela's dad would not choose. They got a scary priest there. And um, he's scared because the Vatican said, no, you cannot do exorcism because it could kill you. And Tanner sees him outside while like he's praying in the car. And then Tanner's like, doo, doo, doo. The, 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 the fight's in there. And while they're at their hardest moment of this exorcism, the priest comes in and everybody thinks the day is saved. He's doing a good job. They break his neck. Um, so eventually like all this, all this stuff happens. They're all doing weird, creepy stuff and telling people's truths. And it turns out that Tanner actually chose his wife, but, the, but it just so happened that the baby survived. So he's feeling kind of shitty about that. And, um, so what ends up happening is they do more exorcism stuff. And then the, the guy who's Catherine's dad. He's like, I choose her. I choose my daughter. And everybody thinks that Angela's dead. But it turns out by him being selfish, dude's dad, dude's daughter died and Angela survived. And they got to live with that. And probably some divorces coming and all type of stuff. So there you have it. That was the exorcist believer. What do I think about it? I was on the edge of my seat the whole time, right? I was I was on the edge of my seat. but. It wasn't anything special. It wasn't like Oppenheimer or like the Matrix or even even um, the Haunting in Venice. It wasn't like that. I was just on the edge of my seat because there were intense moments, but I wasn't like it was a great movie. It was just intense moments. So um, I saw it on IMAX. It was pretty good on IMAX, but you know, I, I it, it didn't like move me to be like, "Yo, this is a great movie." That's not what happened at all. So, but it was cool. Like the experience was fun for me. There was a couple of jump scares and by way of a snake coming from under a rock. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't necessarily scary or anything like that. So there it is. There you have it. That's my review. Um, I don't have a number on it. I would say probably like a six, but it was fun because I'm an AMC a, uh, Stubbs Rewards A-lister. So pay me amc um but yeah i can just go see movies so definitely go do that um but please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate when you do that it's real cute it's like probably the most beautiful thing you could ever do i'm almost at my goal they don't have a new goal but definitely make sure you like and subscribe also uh make sure that you follow me on unico williams on youtube follow my personal page where I talk about whatever I want to talk about, when I want to talk about it, how I want to talk about it, because that's what I do. That's my thing. Um, and then also, um, that's all I got for you. Uh, don't forget, Loki. Loki breakdowns. Uh, we do that. Uh, what else we got going on? Gen V is going on. So stay tuned. If these are things that you're into, 100%. Get into it. Get into us. Like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another episode of Keep It 99. I holla. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Over on 99 ENT, bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. Ah uh -huh.